we all have the same one, eh? Yeah, we have oh, that's Michael true. Jackson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it Michael Jackson though? Yes, it is. <laughs> well, what do you mean it's Michael Jackson? Yeah, what, what Michael Jackson? Microphone? Uh, that's covered. I first one got this one. I got it because it was promoted like Michael Jackson did a full album for I don't know 86. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this is a Michael Jackson microphone. It's a good one. Uh, and after that actually became popular as well. I think every streamer got it. <laughs> yeah, I guess and not even streamer. I think it all started like the podcast, like Joe Rogan and stuff like that, right? I think all of those guys started using it for some reason. All right. Hello there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Majmora, and it has just been a couple of minutes since the conclusion of Hidden Cup 5. In what was probably the fastest best of seven final we've had in modern era of Age of Empires 2, Vashko da Gama, we now know is Hera, has completely dominated the final by winning 4-0 against Leary. And to break it all down to you folks, we've once again decided to get together as a team and give our thoughts on takes on the whole event. If you happen to enjoy the video, feel free to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Tato unfortunately had something coming up, so he won't be able to join us. All right, Hera, first of all, congratulations, my friend. What is it now? It, it feels like so... I don't know. It feels like a bit of a trope to start congratulating you once more, but is it like the sixth time? Seven, uh, seven tournament in a row? Which one is it? Uh, we're at six, but each one feels really, really challenging in its own right, so we're, we're taking it one step at a time. And who's um, counting, right? Who's counting? <laughs> I think the viewers. Me? <laughs> no. Um, also, yeah. he have to add up Conker's Viper for the third place. That cannot be forgotten, right? He, he had a big day <laughs> today know. as well. That was congrats on top eight. No, no. But, <laughs> why did you, like, it goes I'm down the ladder, like, Doubt. But you played today. I said congrats. Like, you won today. <laughs> no, the tournament concluded. A reveal happened today. So you but also. You pl I didn't play to that. You got Never revealed mind. today, King yeah, Stephen. We, we, we didn't went know from princess to king. <laughs> I did oh, my best to hide. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carol. Oh. Continue. This guy. You were, just, you were incredibly hard to guess, uh, Dawood. I think you might have been the first one. No, I, I guess MBL was the first one everybody got right. Well, I want to add, just very casually, of course, that even before the tournament started, I'd guess that Vashko da Gama would win. Well, you, I, you actually did. That's true. He, you, you think you guessed because you're Portuguese, but... No, no, no. That's actually, just a tiny yeah, little but, detail. Just a tiny little yeah, detail. Yeah. Those things you don't matter, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that and I knew I was Vasco. I was like, "Hey, there's extra pressure from Masmora," <laughs> and then you were gonna <laughs> talk about it. Yeah, you predicted the whole tournament. What can I say? Yeah, I, I had that extra pressure on my shoulder. I, it was pretty fun. I just heard you tell uh, you just told T90 that, I, and I remember that's true. That did happen. Like in the very first game, because you played uh, the very first series was your series, right? Yeah. And in the very first, th uh, the first thing that T90 says, well, this goal is, uh, has the shape of an H. How funny would it be if this guy would have been Hera and <laughs> it was Hera? Let's uh, talk about Insane. like, yeah, talk about Min fate, man. Minute one, he talks about the goal being an H. Like, okay, sorry, my cat is. On a side note, how do you make mining camp when the goal is the H shape? <laughs> You take one of the three, one of the sides, and then one on the other side later. Can't believe it has to be explained. <laughs> uh, just <laughs> for the viewers, for the content. Oh, like. oh, okay, okay. It's all for the content. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty interested. Did you guys, I don't know if you guys are allowed to reveal this, but did you like discuss between another who you guys are? Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm going to be this. I'm. Uh, I'm uh, you... <laughs> it's, not, it's not intentional, honestly. It's not intentional. <laughs> No, I guess you're not allowed. You're not allowed to share, right? It's <laughs> not intentional. <laughs> I'm really coughing. But in, in any case, would you guys have recognized who you guys were playing against? How fast was it for you guys this time around? Um, let's go with you, Hera. Um, well, we the way it works is we practice. Like we all play at the same time, so we practice, and then onto like the second round, like you you ask for practice again with people, and whoever still in practice, whoever's out drops out. But we didn't say like, oh, I'm this person. Who are you? We just like you know practice with the person who's maybe on the other side of the bracket, stuff like that. Um, but it, there was some element of mystery until I would say until the first round of games revealed on the live stream. That needs to be add up. Yeah, we players knew who were on the each side of the bracket, eight like split by eight. We I knew who were on top eight and bottom eight, so I knew I can practice the top eight where Tato was. And haha. but yeah, that's how we we did it. <laughs> Okay, so Viper was grinning, and I know exactly why, because we actually brought this on the last episode of our podcast, and we were not supposed to bring it, but now that the tournament is over, I'm pretty sure we can reveal this. So you guys knew uh, who was playing on your side of the bracket so that you knew you wouldn't have to practice with it, you would not choose to practice with those guys, right? Uh, but Viper, yeah, uh, how soon did you know who are your opponents? I mean, I guess you knew Doubt. 
<laughs> well, against against Yo, I knew immediately because of the draft and the right, server. Celts and obviously. Romans. I said Romans and Celts. This has, this has got to well, be Bohemians right? and the way like against Yo, it was pretty much just like I knew exactly who I was playing against. So I just played to counter Yo, right? Uh, yeah, but the draft, no one else drafts Celts and Romans and Bohemians like that. Do you so. think he knew it was you, or no? Um, I don't think. I mean, I don't see how he would know, right? We're playing. He probably knew it wasn't a European player because of mm -hmm. the server, right? Uh, but I don't think he would have known it was me. At least not immediately, right? Maybe he realized after a game or two. But this has to be Viper after losing one game. <laughs> no one else would be me. <laughs> no, it's realistically, <laughs> right? It's realistically, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Was there like any debate from the admins? Because I th seem to remember that in the old versions there was like a little bit of debate with the servers. Was it... Well, so I knew Jordan was on the other side of the bracket, right? So me and Jordan talked. And he thought he, you know, he played on East US server, right? Uh, so he thought he had beaten Hart, for example, which he also showed in the bracket prediction, right? Mm -hmm. But turns out it was Mihai and uh, Robo put uh, two European players on the US server. Guess who that also happened to? Me and King Steven. That's like Wilms Micro. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why the Bomber Cannons went that way. Like. <laughs> I think that's really bad, though, honestly. Like, why? I, I agree. <laughs> if I add 80, 90 ping to both players, which, like, you, you notice 80, 90 ping. You notice it, right? I For sure. Not Don't notice. Oh, you did not. But, <laughs> I did <okay>. not notice. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, I feel like the play in general is way smoother when you play on your like 80, 90 ping lower, right? And I feel like we already have so much random variants in the brackets and everything with Hidden Cup. I think adding another like extra ping just for the sake of trying to keep things hidden is unnecessary. Yeah, also like the best gameplay is land gameplay, like zero exactly. ping. If you, if you can't get there, I think we should just get as close to there as possible every time. Um, you know, I, I can see why Robo wanted to do that to like keep it hidden, but I, I think just getting the players on the best uh, best setup is probably the way to go as well. I agree with that. Lag is my best setup, so it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Robo. <laughs> it, it wasn't enough. <laughs> 250 ping next time, maybe. That's how I played for 20 years. <laughs> And I mean, I understand, you know, trying to hide everything from the viewers. I totally get it. But what's the point of trying to hide it from the players? I mean, I don't really see a point there, right? Because at the end of the day, the whole hidden thing is for the viewers. It's not for the players, right? Well, just yeah. to play devil's advocate, I think the hidden thing is also for the players, or it's supposed to be. It's just too easy to tell with the server and stuff. So like, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. And I also think, uh, especially since we now was also told the eight players on the other side of the bracket, right? So I knew like the only one from Asia on my side was Yo. Uh, Winchester was also apparently in like Malaysia or something during the tournament. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I know if I'm on India server, it can only be Yo and Winchester, right? And there's no way he's going to put us on any other server than India when it's me against a guy from Asia, right? So I think then starting to try and like, it was already difficult enough because they put, we all played like the round of 16 and round of eight at the same time, which made it harder to guess for sure. But I still think they just give us the best settings to play, right? Did you guys like that, by the way? Playing all at once? Yeah, I think that was nice. That was really good, yeah. I, I loved it. It was so much fun. Like, just knowing all, like, top 16 in the world, playing at the same time, everyone prepared for that moment, that's kind of kind of, kind of sick. You don't Not see them, but prepared. you feel it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, you just know everyone's gaming mm -hmm. right now, and it's sick. <laughs> cool. Uh, Doubt, how soon were you we able to guess the players we were playing against? Uh, the server, like Viper said, was India for me as well. So I was like, either Yo or Winchester. Then at the, before the game, he said, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know it's not Jordan. He's on the other side of the bracket. And the server <laughs> wouldn't be this. But I was still like, by the draft, during the draft, it was mostly leaning towards Yo. Like, draft giving me Yo vibes. Spanish and so on. Uh -huh. During the first game, and that enjoy, I leaned more and more to Winchester. And when I was sure it was Winchester is when he paused the game. Because when we practice, he paused very often because he got some <laughs> lag spikes, right? So he just paused game here and there and lucky. <laughs> That's one thing the viewers caught up to, actually, with the mm -hmm. lag spike. Because mm -hmm. apparently he was the only guy who was saying that as well. Yeah, in the uh, practice, like a few days ago, I practiced with him, actually, and he was doing that. So Yeah, people went back, they checked all the chat logs. It's pretty crazy. Because last, I think this time, last time, Handicap 4, was very easy for me. And, you, you know, we had this AOE zone thread again this year. By the way, amazing thread. I, I don't know if you guys actually had the time to check it. I assume you guys didn't. But last year, the, there was this thread where everybody was guessing. And, you know, like really good guesses. People really went, gave deep dives and try to uh, look at everything. And it was pretty easy to guess last year. Well, first, because we didn't have a lot of new players, 
and this year we had like five nine people who played for the first time in the hidden cup and it did not have the apm graphs last time if there was like uh people were undecided between two players it would look at the uh, apm graphs and would be pretty easy to tell who this guy is because if one has got an apm like very very high we know it's going to be a top four player but this time around it was a lot harder um but interesting uh, in any case, Hera, we usually like to do these things to talk about the games in the final. <laughs> There's not a lot to talk about, let's be honest, uh, about the games. Did you guys actually watch it, Viper and uh, Doubt? I did I watch. S- <laughs> I skimmed through it afterwards. I was expecting it to last a bit longer. Hope you apologize, Hera. <laughs> I uh, did not. <laughs> I didn't uh, tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the tradition, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I skimmed through the games, yeah. Okay, so let's just go quickly through the game. So, game one was evacuation, and you played as Mongols against Persians. Was that a way too early GG from Ely, from, from Leary in that game? No, the Lancers were coming. The Lancers are so strong. So, when the Lancers come and you're still feudal, you cannot compete. I, I thought it was a bit early. I thought he would fight a bit more, but I. If I went to go back, I think Lancers are really, really strong there. So it was probably done. Mm-hmm. I, that was one of the new maps, right? So how do you guys feel about that map, actually? A good map. I like it. <laughs> yeah. it's uh, In the end, it got one-dimensional, but we didn't even have enough time to fully practice, right? If we had like one more week or one more month, I think the meta would sh- shift again. Yeah, that, that map got potential. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I really enjoyed it. I think the best style on it was actually the the galleys for sure on the water is like really good. But I think on land it was still unfigured out. I think there's a lot more uh, opportunities that you can go for. But like that was saying, we don't have much time, so we just go for the thing that makes the most sense. And you just go for it and and you know play comfort basically. Mm-hmm. For your viper. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, I still yeah, like I agree with them. The if the map was came out very short like close to the tournament right so no one had time to like really figure it out and yeah i think even now it, the meta also still developed throughout the tournament because mm-hmm. we got to see round of 16 and round of eight before we played semifinals and such right um I, I still like if we had another two or three weeks to play the map the map would the meta would probably still be changing mm-hmm. you said it became one but dimensional like uh in what way did it become one dimensional doubt i don't know ask somebody else i can copy first <laughs> <laughs> it was obviously meta time opening the beginning because crack terrain and everything. Well, at least for me. For Kieran, never. <laughs> he hates meta times. Like, he got something personal in meta times. Like, whenever it's brought out meta times, he's like, give me the hate look, basically. But yeah, I think at the beginning, most players were taking meta times. It's crack terrain, small distance, and also you need to evacuate. It made sense. But then it was switching to the archers to stop that immediately, and then back to scouts. As every meta, it's always back to the scouts in the end. Why did Why did you like? Why this? Because no, you have to evacuate. No, 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 no. <laughs> like you're talking about meta arms, okay? And you say you have to evacuate. Therefore, I want to go meta arms. Where's the link of evacuating and playing meta arms? It's early pressure because you cannot wall. The woodlands are very bad. You cannot shoot more efficiently against that. It's cracked terrain, so you can at least kill a house. With gods, you get bonus damage as well. And also, it comes fast, right? You don't need the stable, you don't need anything. It's bam, bam. But eventually, people just wall and micro, but they don't fight. <laughs> of <laughs> course. Just wall and uh, we did see, well, uh, I was pretty surprised to know it was Taro. At some point, we did figure out it was Taro. Uh, we did see him going for like the very early lame on that map. Was that something you guys trained together, Doubt, or even one of you guys? Yeah, that's like we did few styles. Like instantly lame, a bit later lame, dog, no dog, instant barrack. In the end, we all went different routes. Uh, Viper, I think he went for the instant barrack. I went for the later barrack, and Tato went for the instant lame. We all failed. <laughs> <laughs> I never played it. We all failed. I realized how bad it was. I didn't play it. <laughs> like, it trained it, trained against me. Yeah, it worked against you. That's the right part, right? <laughs> I know it's my, my thing working against Tato. <laughs> God, Viper! Like from now on, whenever that talks to you, just come to me. We'll, we'll try it together. I should, like, I away from to, them. <laughs> every time I get inspired, I told her as well today earlier, like before the final. Don't watch out for doubt, because every time doubt inspires me strategically, I I lose. It's like before finals, I inspire him. Like, he was really like 
Like we were cooking, like get stone, <laughs> get the tower second. It was so good, right? That that was really good. Actually, me and that maybe you're the problem, Viper. Actually, me and that cooked up yeah, some really nasty strats. <laughs> like I, I have to say, like that came up with a couple of good stuff. And on short notice, obviously for the final, the finals are more like a mind game rather than like um, let's play really good. You just have to play something surprising usually, not exactly the best strats. And that's really good at that. He just never gets the finals, so he can't show it. But he's really good at that. <laughs> I got once. And I won. <laughs> I get, once I get to the final, it's mine. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, then game two, that was Mudflow. Uh, you played with the Italians and Leary played with the Byzantines. Uh, is that one of the new maps as well? Mudflow? Uh, no, no, that was played on uh, past Hidden Cups as well. But it's All like right. relatively new because you, you never see it. Right. So I guess the casters, they said they were surprised that Larry did not go for Chinese. Was that a surprise for you too? I have to talk about a lot of mind games to explain this. <laughs> All like right. Basically, just to sum it up, Chinese, best Civ, but in practice, especially with me and Larry, how we played, uh, Maggers was beating Chinese pretty much every time. And like even in, pre in qualifier practice, we knew Maggers were really good. Uh, and like Chinese were always really hard to play. Like I, I felt like I didn't really like Chinese because you have to play against heavy pressure. So uh, and against Viper, he went Maggers, and he actually beat Viper's Chinese. So I knew that he would. <laughs> I, want... hey, hey, I just want to say my Chinese style was inspired by doubt. <laughs> just, just saying. Okay, go on. That's bad. That's true. <laughs> but he's doing it wrong. That's a good shot. Yeah. <laughs> inspired by doubt and uh, executed poorly according exactly. to doubt <laughs> thank you uh, but uh, yeah so like uh, we knew Magyars beats Chinese but Chinese is like supposed to be the best so going mm -hmm. into it I saw his draft he had no other Arabia Civ that he likes so going into it uh, I knew that if I go Magyars he will not go Chinese there because he knew he knows since I have Magyars he wouldn't want to play Chinese so he's saving for Chinese for Arabia I deduced that from the draft so I knew he's going to go Byzantine his second best choice so I went Italians uh, which is a really good counter to Byzantines, or at least a really good style. And just to secure it a little bit more, I went for the lame in, in Dark Age, which just throws completely Leary off his game plan. We're like three layers deep in the exception here with the mind yeah. games. <laughs> I, I was talking with Doubt. He was also just as deep as me beforehand. It was really fun. I still <laughs> would go for Chinese. Like I was like, okay, here, that all makes sense. But Chinese is so good there. Like, you cannot skip it. <laughs> I told you I, I knew Leary. I told you, but it, it's mm. obviously like if, if Leary felt like he wanted to play Chinese, I, mm. I'm I'm dead. I, I lose, mm. but it's fine. Like if I lose, I lose. Mm. It happens. One thing that I thought was funny, and I, I'm not sure if this played a role, probably didn't. But you, you hear people call you Hera like a meta player all the time, and I've noticed that you kind of hate it because I, I don't <laughs> think you, I, I don't think you see yourself as a meta as a meta player, right? So uh, would Just you say like many times like? <laughs> 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 so I want your stuff like blaming. Is it you trying to, you know, open up your book in terms of strategy, starting to go for something different, surprise people? So I'll tell you what it is. Uh, there's a saying, it's like first impressions of the last. I came in and I was a one-dimensional player. You can call it meta player, call it whatever. And I was running into Viper and he was like a brick wall. I run into him and time and time I lose. And it's like so often you lose, you have to, you get better as a player, you get more experience. And uh, over the years, obviously, I started picking up more and more styles with every tournament. But people still refer to like the 2020 me or the 2019 me when they say meta player. And I, it's not that I hate it. I only hate meta arms exactly. <laughs> but it's, um, I just don't think it's true. So when, when, a, when a narrative is not true and it's being, it's like the, oh, I thought Hera's a meta player. What is this? Like he's sending a bill forward. It's like, it's obviously not true. So let's just break away from it. Do you know what I mean? So I, I hope people can see me as like, more of like a complete player and not me from 2019 uh, anymore. It's mm -hmm. just how it is. Yeah, people love to just have labels for people. It just makes it so much easier for everybody because there's just, you know, the world is a confusing place. And as, mm -hmm. the more labels you can have, the easier it is for you to just uh, walk, you know, to just find yourself in the world. In any case, game three, Cup. You played with Japanese against Dravidians. Um, was that you had a lot of scouts on that one part of the map, right? Is that like a new thing that has developed in this hidden cup, or have you guys seen that before as well? Did you come up with it? Well, I learned from Vinchester in practice. The scouts were really, really strong against the water, so I tried to do that. But Leary actually won that that side of the water. But the scouts scale really well because you can do other stuff like scout the map and put pressure and go light cap. So I still thought that was in an okay position, but I learned it from Winchester. Did you guys know about the scouts on Cup? Like, what, what do you guys think about it? It's not like that good. It's just, it's okay. Koreans. 
you can do a lot of things in that map and it will be <laughs> yeah. okay, I think. True. Uh, well, uh, just before I started this, I started seeing the first few posts scout are OP. They need to be nerfed. What do you guys have to say about that? Uh, scouts are fine. What did you say? The... Scouts are fine. Scouts are fine. If anything, light cap needs a nerf. If you nerf anything of the scout line, like light cap gives you the most value. But I don't know if there's anything you can nerf about that without like gutting the unit. So yeah, scouts don't need a nerf. Star don't need a nerf. But maybe light cap. I don't know, probably not though. It's Scout. like we were thinking monks are broken, right? And that's why Light Cav meta start dominating. <laughs> monks are not broken anymore and Light Cav still dominating. So maybe there is something into it. Like when you put it on paper, they are not that impressive, but I guess because you set up your economy, they only cost food. And setting your economy full farming gives you such a sweet transition to whatever you want to do. Boom, imp, just make Light Cav. Like whenever you stop making Light Cav, you go imp. I think them only costing food is maybe a problem. Like stats wise, they are fine. Maybe if they cost a bit of wood or whatever, less wood. I don't know. Uh, scouts cost wood. Uh, uh, well, archer costs gold and wood and doesn't cost food. I, I, just because it's your brain doesn't mean that all units need to cost uh, food, right? I think the issue is if you touch scouts, they become very bad in feudal age suddenly. Mm -hmm. I think stats wise, they are fine. I think the economy you can build because they only costing food is just too good. So I have like a little like idea about that because scouts is the, the really fast unit, big line of sight. You give it to the hands of a pro, which we're all getting better every day. The more we get better, the more we can do with a fast unit. <laughs> well, maybe shut <laughs> the viper. <laughs> shut the viper. Um, so I think it's just the nature of the game. Like the fastest unit with the most line of sight lets the pro do the most things and reads the game the best with it. Mm -hmm. I think it's more. It doesn't have the right counter, right? Knights get really countered with the. By the monks, pikemen counters light here and the knights more or less the same actually. Like you will never engage with knights against pikemen unless you're Hera. Like you will <laughs> counter that with few mangonas and few monks. Either you have light here as a front or knights. Like the only direct counter is monk, and that doesn't work on light here. So you would kind of always try to have light here army instead of the knight, and that just <laughs> feels a bit wrong. Mm -hmm. Fair Maybe enough. it's just their mobility. If they were a little bit slower. Same same speed as camels, for example, would be interesting. Uh, but th th then again, you nerf like the scout and feudal. You're also nerfing hussar in late games. Like you have to really think these through. And like I, I don't trust just talking a nerf. I think it needs a lot of testing. I think a, a high elo nerf to begin with, just lowering the line of sight, can be a good place to start. For example, take some away from the pro. Don't touch anything else. Because like have aren't broken at like lower levels. It's just knights dominating everything at like mid mid elo. Uh, it's it's, a, it's just a pro thing, really. Right now, I think the speed is nerfed in Castle Age, or at least as soon as you get uh, Light Cav, they're actually slower than Scouts, right? Light Cav are actually a little bit slower than Scouts, which is interesting. All right, so then moving on to game four, last one in the finals, that was High Tides. You played as Malians, and Leary went for Lithuanians. And... Um, when something interesting that way I've seen in this Hidden Cup, at least, was that having the water in this map does not seem to play that much of a role. Uh, was that your approach to the whole thing? Because you did go for water, but it felt to me like it did not commit that much to it. Uh, well, I actually, well, I'm not sure. I, I, to this day, I still don't know if you should go water on that map because I, I wanted to go water in that game. I was convinced I wanted to go water, but he up two pop faster. I knew because I saw he, he had Loom on his villa, like two pop earlier than me. So I was like, okay, I lost water. Uh, I went to the second dock and just gave it up uh, with it, without building it, so I kind of adapted into that. It felt okay. I still think water is good, but I'm not sure how much you, you should commit for it. Mm -hmm. Viper? It depends. Either it pays off or it doesn't, right? It depends on how much damage or like the compensation on land, right? If you fall massively behind on initiative on land and your cast age time isn't significantly faster, then I don't think water gives you too much. Fish also gets worse as the time goes on, right? So, and it's never safe. You cannot like start fish trap, making like 20 fish traps up there. So uh, it's very tricky. Like I saw in that game, I, saw, I just looked at the resources collected thing. And like, despite Leary having water, Hera was still like six, 700 resources ahead for the like mid feud legend onwards. So it's like the water didn't look like it gave him much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really interesting. And it, also, it also splits his attention a lot. It also costs a lot initially. Yeah, water is like, it's like really OP, but late, lately tournaments have been giving us less fish, giving us like, they've been nerfing water intentionally, making it really far. So they, these tournaments, like you have to really weigh how good water is. It's, it's difficult. 
Mm. How do you feel about that? Doubt? I don't know. I just go many times to that map and <laughs> hope for the best. Like, if I break in, I kill some villagers, I'm fine with water. Uh-huh. But yeah, I agree. Like, water is. Like, if you secure it really fast, it's good. That's why the style is always to contest water a little bit, right? Don't give it for free. If you give it for free, it's op- it's broken. But with slight contest and then move to the full end, that seems to be like a best style on those mixed maps. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Hera, you are famously a little bit critical of the maps for Hidden Cup 5 <laughs> in the video that has now been uh, had a title change, a little bit of a title change. After all, everything you said and done, how do we feel about the maps? Uh, well, actually, it's funny because I think like I kind of stand by a lot of what I said in the video, <clears throat> and I think I was proven right by what maps were picked by the players. Like a lot of like the Gold Rush Islands was picked a bit because it's water, but like Gold Rush Quarry, the the maps that I criticized for being bad were kind of still like not the best. Like they just weren't popular amongst players. Um, that being said, like the the new maps were really good. The the new addition to Hidden Cup were really good. So <clears throat> perhaps I should have just held off on the video. I mean, truthfully, I I make videos about all kinds of things. Like I make videos about NEC to bring attention to the tournament, show that I'm playing in it, show that it's happening. Like it's just good marketing. And for Hidden Cup, I can't talk about main event. I can't make videos in main event because I I can't show identity. So I said, okay, let's make a video before main event. I said, okay, what can I talk about? And I want to talk about the settings, and I just realized that they weren't very good. Like in practice, the settings were just not very good. So I just made a video about the tournament, and it just so happened that it was like a negative video. But it never was my intention to like bring hate to it. It was just like, hey, settings are not great; they could be improved. Hidden Cup Five main events coming up. I'm playing in it. That's kind of mm-hmm. like the idea. Yeah, it didn't it didn't land. The, Honestly, just like with everything else on the internet, things get magnified to a proportion that just yeah. does not make sense anymore. Exactly. If you uh, you probably don't want any uh, any opinion from me. I'm going to give it you anyway. Uh, the o- only thing, in my opinion, you did wrong in that video was that you mentioned in one sentence money. The word money was mentioned. And when money is mentioned, people lose their mind. Everything that it said before that, I think he said maybe he does that because he wants more viewers. Totally fine. He wants more. Uh, he wants to uh, give sponsors uh, more uh, uptime or live time. And then maybe that's better for his money as well. Like tiny sentence and people just uh, lose their minds because of a tiny little thing. That's my opinion on the whole situation. I mean, so, like, even, even that, like, I'm just a very upfront guy. I, I don't I do not do a script for the videos, right? So like when I'm thinking about it, say I spoke to Nilly, right, about the numbers, right? And I know like money is a big part of it. Like, Nilly is investing a lot for NEC. He needs return. Like getting more money is good. The longer the games go, it's like more ad revenue. That's a good thing. So it's like, I could see a reason for a tournament host to want long games for those reasons and not in a negative connotation. The, does anyone work and not want money? Like, <laughs> simple as that. So I just asked people to question that, like, uh, someone who doesn't script videos, just talking like that. It's not a negative connotation. It's people who work and have a big event, they want compensation back. It's not like he's hurting the competitiveness of the tournament. It's just the games are longer. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, mm. But anyway, it's just like, Definitely could have definitely could have worded it better for sure, um, and I'll continue working on that. But definitely no negative connotation there. Mm-hmm. Doubt maps on the tournament. We just want to say, here are you got him for the finals at least. You made it as short as possible. No <laughs> money for T ninety. No ma- no cash. No nothing, man. Good job, here. That's better than any video. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, a lot of people say revenge is a meal best served cold or something like that, right? <laughs> uh, what was the question? Uh, how do you feel about the maps in the tournament? Uh, I have to agree with Hera about qualifiers being, well, not the best map pool. Main event map pool was insane. I like it a lot. But yeah, qualifier map pool, well, it was like final round is best of seven with seven, seven maps in the map pool. That obviously is not the best approach. And... I didn't have to play qualifiers, so I don't care much about that. I'm not like Hera. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in the main event, maps were good. And also, one map crossed my mind. Was Gold Rush played a single time in the main event? I don't in recall seeing a single played it against Ganji. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With Burgundian. Yes, 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 yes. Jordan maybe played it as well against Mihai? I'm going to check it right no, now. No, nope. sure. no, uh, no, you're right. Gold Rush, yeah. He played Bengalis against Burgundians, and he won. I think Gold Rush, Cross, I never saw almost in Quarry, right? The rest of the maps yeah. were, were played. Even Islands. I picked Islands, more or less, against Viper. <laughs> for Aztecs, by the way. <laughs> for Aztecs. Right, what about that? What about the Aztecs? Hey, did we talk about the winner here? 
<laughs> we don't talk about Astics. <laughs> talk about Astics, bro. Talk, I love you, please. Astics, I, I beat Kerry with Astics a few days before that. I mean, I was winning and I rage quit. <laughs> it's a win. It's a, it's a win. I beat that, but that, at this point, I'm not sure that holds any value. But yeah, the Astics, Astics plan worked. Like, did it though? Okay, so, so I, what I still was think the, it's good. What was the idea? It's important to note that you killed the board with your TC mm-hmm. in that game, so a lot of things went yeah, wrong. Yeah, things for you. went wrong. Things went wrong. What well, was the idea? Well, I go up same time as Vikings. Aztec economy is decent. I have faster producing. Two dogs against two dogs. I'm fine. And on the way to the Castle Age, and when I'm thinking about Castle Age, I had transport. I had few eagles, so my landing is uh, safe. I add back a bit later, kind of messed up the build. I killed the boar with the TC, so my castle reach timing was a bit off. And the transport with eagles got caught by the galleys. So <laughs> things went terribly wrong, but the idea was good. The idea was, I, I would still do it. Of I don't regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, let's, uh, I want to talk about everybody's run. I've, obviously, we talked about Hera. Yeah. So talk about your whole run, Dad. It's, uh, it's one a short more. run. <laughs> it's a, oh, well, that's that's <laughs> Well, not really. Yeah, uh, it, it was. <laughs> no, but once more, you were very <laughs> close. You, you had a very close series against Viper. Well, once more, you lost against Viper. Uh, yeah, how did you feel? About- well, having close series doesn't nothing to me. Does a lot to Tinaiti having more content. But for me, it's same if I lost 4-0, 4-G. Uh, so yeah, my run was beating Winchester, which was also a very good set. <laughs> Viper, stop laughing. There will be a lot of editing in this video. <laughs> Does that mean you're not happy with your final? No, play? I'm I'm happy with my performance. I think I played really well. And like for example, at the knock where I lost to a Viper, I mm-hmm. felt I was a better player that day, but lost. Uh, <laughs> yes, that Ooh. was upsetting. But here in Hidden Cup, Viper was a better player, although I could have won. But he was a better player. Even the games I won, he was outplaying me and just like I, I had my lead with amazing strategies, like many times left and right. But he was holding with like just pure better skills, so yeah, he definitely deserved this time. This time, uh, Hera, the winner of the tournament. What do you see in Doubt's gameplay that he needs to change? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, as a meta arm hater, no, but like for real, the worst part about Doubt is when he gets one step too far in his idea. Like usually, yeah. the plan is really good, and he just takes it one step too far. Hmm. If he also, I think your drafting is like needs a bit of work as well. Uh, Ooh, that hurts. No, 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 you hit me where it hurts. I, I know. I know that's not what you want to hear. I, I don't have the credit, like the credentials to to like help you there. But I promise okay, meta you, player. I will pick meta teams small, next time. Eh? Small thing in drafting. Okay, would help I will a lot. pick next time Magyars and. But uh, no, it's, ma- it, Khmer. It, it, the same, the same sieves, just different order. But that's a little thing. Like actual gameplay, he just goes one step too far in the in the plan. Sometimes keeping it a little simpler could be easier for him, more consistent. And uh, I think he's like super solid. Uh, it's really hard to play against Tauten tournaments for sure. Well, I agree with him, and that's also Tato fault because we brainstorm a lot, and then we play mind game against mind game against mind game, and then we go <laughs> ten steps ahead, and nobody like ahead the first idea how to counter. So we just go too far. Yeah, you know like, the issue there, Doubt? Uh, yes. In uh, all the previous years, I've always been there to reel you guys in a little bit. But now you're with us. <laughs> now so we now, like, put I, you here with us. <laughs> I didn't train with you guys at all this tournament. I didn't play a single tet- uh, set with Tato. You and me played after I knocked you out. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Like mm-hmm. usually, there's you need the balance there, right? You take get your ideas out, and you can doubt and Tato test them because you guys are so similar, right? Yeah, yeah. But you need to try them against a proper me- player. Yeah, a proper player, <laughs> meta player, or whatever, right? To to really test it, and I think that also, I think but, it would help both of you to play with me as well. Would, but time. I have another theory, as you know. <laughs> yeah, clicks right away. Don't practice. Don't touch true, anything. True. Like I, I'm not even kidding. I think Harry disagrees with that. Right? If it clicks, you have a good idea. If I test, I, I will try well. to make it perfect and everything. And then by making it perfect, I'm doing something that's not not good anymore. Like it no. cannot be perfect. If idea it, like, is a tricky opening, let it be tricky. You cannot make it perfect. Okay, you you do want to practice it to make it perfect, but don't lose the focus of what you're doing in the first place. I lose don't the try focus. To, <laughs> <laughs> don't try to counter the counter. Like you no, have yeah. this, it's versus this. That's it. Stop there. At f- fifth game, I'm not even many time rushing. I'm like already making spearmen in Dark Age. Like I'm all gone. It needs to be a first click. 
It needs to be a first click. <laughs> uh, Viper, you just said there you didn't play against Tato, but you guys are not on the same side of the bracket. So how did that come about? Uh, just and didn't end up uh, time-wise to fit. Mm -hmm. like we didn't initially better. have planned to play one, uh, a set, but it just he played without instead. So who was your uh -huh. training partner for the most part? Uh, I played most of ACS. Yeah, me and Hera played, I think, twice, and then I had one set with Doubt, I think. Uh, after you knocked me out. After I knocked out Doubt, yeah, <laughs> four two in the quarterfinals, yeah. King Steven. Um, no, but, yeah, training was good. So would you say there was more training between you guys this time around, especially with Hera, since Hera is now a GL player as well? <coughs> I think I trained about the same as I've done for previous Hidden Cups, but I, like the big difference for me this time was I barely played with Dalton Taro. And Jordan isn't here either, right? Jordan and me used to grind a lot as well. But like uh, normally I would always train a lot more and be around the preparation with Tato and Dalton more. But now obviously as well, me and Dalton the same sort of brackets. Kind of doesn't make sense for us to train too much and so forth. Is it true that Jordan didn't play a single game since uh, NAC5? <laughs> his first game after mm -hmm. NAC was his first game against Mihai. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's also the brutality of a hidden cup, right? Mihai, this is no offense to Mihai. I think Mihai is probably the only it's guy. Quite an offense. Like, no, but like, because Mihai is the least Jordan experienced player. Say Jordan practice at least. Like. No, Mihai is the least <laughs> experienced player, right? right? So Jordan coming in with a clear mind and like nothing to lose, he's going to feel zero nerves. He's going to play like a straight up game. I think Mihai probably was a bit nervous and such, right? That was probably the best possible matchup for Jordan, right? And that's the brutality of the random seeding as well, right? And for example, me, I got Yo in the first round. Either of us could have gone out. It's brutal. Tato mm -hmm. ACCM with ACCM performing like he's doing. Tato losing 4-0. Why don't we talk about Tato's run? Yeah, we're going oh, to go there for sure. But I, I'm first, okay. for that. We're going to go there for sure. But first, I'm going to go to you, Viper, and hear about how your tournament run was and how do you feel about it. Third place. So how do you feel about it? No, I'm, ha I'm happy with third place, given how things played out. I'm not too happy with my play in the tournament itself. But overall, I mean, can't complain, right? Top three is still... Okay, so result. what what are you not happy about, precisely? Uh, getting inspired by doubt, partly. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> That's an easy fix. <laughs> the, the issue is, when I play against doubt, stylistically, I think doubt is a bit tricky for me. But it's like, we play the Chinese mirror on, uh, on uh, Mudflow, right? Mudflow. Now, I had, in my mind, made up my mind, okay, I think the best thing is maybe you sneak in a dock if you want to, but like you still want to play a scout spear with Chinese. And then Doubt just went like spearman defense and only water. And I'm like, this actually felt hard to deal with. And then if I'm like, getting, Doubt, like, I would lose the game, right? <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, I think I realized how to counter it in afterwards, and so I shouldn't have gotten that inspired. But like, um, I need to be more stubborn on what I think is good for me. Because I take like small inspiration here and there, and then I try to tweak things. I even tried it twice against ACCM in training, and I still lost both games. And then I still did it in the tournament, right? Instead of sticking with what I'm comfortable with and what I feel like is best, right? So I need to be a bit more stubborn in my decision making on what I uh, how I approach certain maps and civs. Um, but yeah, like I said, like Harris said earlier, that they have been winning against Chinese with Maggers. I thought that if mm -hmm. I just played Spear Scout normal opening, it would still be ahead economically at least i'm not sure like i didn't play much against Magar, so maybe i'm wrong there but yeah but overall uh i'm happy with th uh, third place uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> was it uh, perfect <laughs> that's how it starts <laughs> <laughs> so you'll be happy to be invited <laughs> I was, you know, the, reason I'm, the reason i'm happy about is because i feel like i, I didn't play too well in the games I right i know that, that i know <laughs> even against you i know i, I, know. You. I, I, I was there, there. I, yeah. I think I know. I think you I know. Said Lord Viper. Than... I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give you a compliment. <laughs> I'm telling. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I think you played better than me in this hidden cup as well. Almost. Oh, oh wow. that's cute. Almost. But, okay, no, but like strategically, I think cup, I'm invited. Yes, thank you. Like <laughs> I'm <laughs> just happy be to be invited. <laughs> Jordan's invited as well. Tati is not. I don't think he would go top eight invites again after the back T situation. It wouldn't make sense, I think. Well, before the stream started, T90 was had an ominous message saying something like, this could be potentially the last Hidden Cup 5. Did you guys see that? You guys did mm, not yep. see that? I saw okay, it. So, you know, what's that all about? Uh, no, I, I, it could just be like, uh, everyone get in here, big moment. You don't know if another Hidden Cup is coming up. Like, 
Uh, I'm sure he's not planning the next income already. Right. Um, I don't. I don't think he's planning to stop either, though. So maybe it's just like he has to go back and analyze what he wants to do. He might even just do like another tournament. Maybe he wants to retire Hidden Cup here. I, from that, from my perspective, with no like inside information, I love Hidden Cup and I think it's good to keep it going. But yeah, who knows what's in uh, what's going through? Yeah, let's mind. not let's not read too much into one. Yeah, two, yeah. Three. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I want to return the favor now. So doubt. What does Viper need to do to up his game? <laughs> oof, 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 oof. Read it out. Oof, hit me. Uh, where to start? I, I think that's it. He need to uh, acknowledge, acknowledge. He acknowledge? need to acknowledge. Yeah, nice one. That he is um, not anymore the best player. You need to be. Sp- Become a tricky little fucker. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot play that anymore. You 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 need to be more trickier. You cannot just go straight forward and brute force it out. You're not one level ahead. But you I don't have... feel like I play meta though, so I don't feel like that makes sense. Also, I just disagree with that as well. Oh God! I, I, then here, oh. but, but here, what do you think? What Viper needs to do to step it up? Vi- Viper's mechanics are still top tier. Like respect. Stop quick walling so much. You're just what? distracting yourself. No, stop, no, no. Please. No. It's stop. terrible. It's stop. terrible. Stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> it the quick wall meta is, is actually not worth it, right? Like it's you make just... 20 gates to kill Amelisha, like, but I got it. Like, <laughs> like I, I think the, the quick walling, like you obviously brought that to popularity. That was amazing. Like like a few years ago, people were getting styled on, like no one knew how to counter it. Now everyone knows how to counter it. It's taking too many clicks. So like that's number one. And number two, I think stop getting inspired so much by doubt. I agree with that, that as well. Yeah, that one is definitely I, true. I, I think if you just played straightforward, you have the best league game by far. You have best decision making by far. It's close, but you have really good decision making, best league game by far. If you just play towards those strengths with like good consistent strats that you prepare, work on no floating gold as well in mid game, and. The, there's no, no it's getting wrong now. Wait, wait, wait. Just to make this clear, the only thing separating Viper from Hera right now is the quick walls. Did I hear that right? Well, like, it, it's, <laughs> I think the level is still really close. Like, the mechanics are top tier. I, I just think I'm, I'm a little bit sharper and I don't float like a little bit of gold, focus on like the more consistent things. I'm just probably just a bit more consistent. That's all it is. Like, if you can just speak openly. Um, but I don't think the mechanics are like the same. Like, I don't think I'm doing anything that he's not doing or that I could do something that, he's not, that he can't do. I think the mechanics well, are the same. I'll address those points uh, where, yeah. where do we start. Uh, <laughs> quick walls, I agree. I overdo that. Uh, doubt, uh, 100% agree. Inspir- <laughs> inspiration too much. Uh, I'm not sure yeah. if I would say that I have the best late game by far. Maybe I have the most experience in late game in certain scenarios because I used to bring a lot of games to late game in tournaments before. Uh, but I don't think like my late game is particularly better than yours or, or Yo, for example. Uh, I think it just depends on the save, matchup decision making onwards but i think what i used to excel on compared to everyone else in the past was definitely decision making i feel like decision making at the moment i am not sharp i feel like i make a lot of faulty decisions which i don't really know what how to explain um also yeah the the consistency is for sure i think my biggest issue as well right now when it comes to my play because like i played i me and doubt was training the other day i clapped him absolutely hard and i felt like <laughs> i give you confidence before the <laughs> match like come on like, i thought nothing on me like I, i'm just like okay <laughs> maybe yeah, thought, last term and come on. i told doubt then that if i played as well i might mm. win the tournament right and i, I was felt, like yes yeah, good job <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, like, I, I felt like my level was really high and I was like, if I'm able to bring this level to a tournament, I'll have really good chances, right? Uh, but yeah, like I'm struggling to bring the level to a tournament these days. I don't know exactly what I can, how, why that is, but it has been a reoccurring thing the last couple of months and the last couple of tournaments. It's only beginning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> last couple of years, decades, so I'm like. But I also agree with the floating gold thing. I do notice that I do tend to float a lot of gold. Market? At times. No, sometimes I just leave my <laughs> TC. <laughs> yes. I think my TC got a point on uh, gold too much. I don't think that's the reason. Is... I don't know if I should be helping you this much. Like, I don't know what team is now. Keep talking. Keep talking. I don't think that's the reason. Like, your play style, and I do this sometimes as well, is like you go 3 TC faster than other people, which is usually really that's good. True. But then you're not making as much army. So the gold build that you had in Feudal, planning for that early castle, it stops after two minutes of castle because you can't make knight that much. So you make That's some monks, you're booming. Just take half the bills off gold and problem solved. You don't need markets. You're not at that level yet. Where's the next tournament? Let's go. <laughs> next tournament. Like, can you buy material you need? Like, gold is gold. Like, gold is everything. With gold, you have wood, stone, everything. Food. <laughs> that is um, also true. 
if I were to summarize what I feel like the community feel about your gameplay is, Viper, is that you tend to be too greedy. And in the past, that would work out for you because you were by far like the best mechanical player. But nowadays, you probably are not the best mechanical player. So you cannot afford to be as greedy as you are. And I think one game that shows that maybe potentially would be like the mud flow from, from what I remember against Dow. I think it was against Dow, right? The Chinese against Chinese. Where was it? I'm not even sure anymore. In any case, you had a early lead, a very good early lead. Did I? Maybe I'm against thinking. Doubt? I'm, 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 I'm she never she will lead game. against me in the yeah, game. <laughs> I might be thinking about did, who did you play against in Mud Flow as well? Was it Leary? Yeah, had, it was Leary. Of course, there as well. It was Leary. Yeah, you had early le leading that one. I'm almost sure, right? And then Leary started making a lot of army. You did not. You just wanted to go to Castle Age, and I feel like something you would have gotten away like a couple of years ago, and today maybe not. Would you agree? No, Leary would have punished me many years ago as well with that approach. Okay, uh, so. That okay. was that was a, that was just a faulty decision making and strategy, right? Uh, I was committed; like it was too far, I was too deep to turn back to play like that. It's like either it works now or I'm dead anyway. So, uh, but I I do agree that I tend to be a bit greedy and I don't make enough army. Right. Um, I like how this podcast became like a proper viper analysis. <laughs> huh? Yeah, cool. viper. <laughs> yeah, let's go. What else? What else? Where's Tato? <laughs> we can make YouTube series out of this coaching viper. <laughs> Ooh, <I like> <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get let's get to Tato. Uh, I could not believe I, at first. I thought Gajamata's got to be Tato because I couldn't. I, I think what I was thinking about was Gregory was Vinchester because of the Goths pick, and I, I know Vinchester likes to play Goths. So yeah, this guy's got to be Vinchester, and Tato just beat him four zero. But ACCM beating Tato four zero is definitely not on my bingo card. So um, yeah, Tad, uh, doubt you're the one who knows him the best. Uh, what happened in that game? Uh, he said he didn't play bad, right? Just things went wrong. And ACCM, like, that's more important to say. It's not Tato playing bad. It, ACCM played amazing, right? Unbelievable. Yeah, the ACM just was on spot. And Tato plans, who knows where he got those idea? just did not uh, work out that day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did, he, did he know it was ACCM, Tato, right away? Uh, think well, in not. the server, right? Who else could it be? Was it side. India for him? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I think, yeah, 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 yeah. He couldn't be anyone else in ACCM. I mean, you don't know when you're drafting. You know, like, after draft, you get yeah. servers, so you're already set with the plans. There's yeah, no yeah. going back to the gods anymore. You pick them, you have to play them. <laughs> but, yeah, he, uh, he he said he played, like, really good. He just goes, well, outplayed. Simple as that. I, I watched okay. the games as well. They felt pretty close. Like, it, it was a good yeah. match. It was a really good match. Mm -hmm. I have to say as well, I think Tato was sick two days before he was playing. So I, I think even though he felt like maybe he, didn't, he played good, if he was sick, there is a chance that he was slipping up a little bit, right? Viper with the sick card. Or, or, every I'm just time. Saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, but of course, like I've, I've been training plenty with ACM. ACM is playing absolutely amazing in training. Uh, so obviously 4-0 against Tato, who is like consistently top, top two, top four positions these days. That's a massive upset. Well, Tato so. is outside Hera the most consistent player. Like he will never drop the game for no reason, right? Not like Viper or me. Like just drop a winning game. He doesn't throw. He's always solid. And well, he was solid against ACM. Mm -hmm. The score for zero doesn't tell the tell the full story, right? The set was. I think false. it's uh, pretty crazy to hear, and it's full credit to ACCM that Tato did not yeah. think he played bad. It was just ACCM outplaying him. That's uh, it's as easy as it is. Uh, 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 can I say why I think Tato did underperform a little bit? Oh, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. That might also come out as offensive. Say it. Well, too late. Late. Can we edit this? No, I have to. Too late. No, I have to. Uh, it's just like because uh, ACCM <laughs> guessed that he played Mihai, right? And normally Tato would be a level above Mihai. There's like right. there's no secret in that, right? That's why I kind of think that Tato also underperformed a little bit, but I mean, it's the nature of tournament. What did you against Mikhail? First with the Jordan, and now... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing as Mikhail. What did I Mikhail ever do to you? Oh, I trained the set with Mikhail. He, he took three games for me. Maybe in four. Mikhail played oh really well God. in training. He's a beast. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see anything sort of new in ACCM's gameplay, Hera, that you think he's doing now that he wasn't doing before? ACCM went from a guy who likes to make games messy to knowing how to control the messiness. Now the games are still messy when he wants them to be, but he is so much better under those messy situations than he was before. Before he, he was like one with the craziness. Now he's like watching the craziness from a distance. Like he creates it and then he, he referees it. You know, he just watches from <laughs> the side and kind of sees what's happening. And it just, it, it's hard to explain it, but it's, it's hard to play against ACCM. I was really scared I would get reverse swept in the, in the semis. Like I was really, really scared. 
Uh, he was the only one too. to take uh, to take two games for you. The only one yeah, in the turn. Yeah. So. Okay, and then another. I, I don't even know if it's a crazy performance, but definitely surprising after NEC five would have to be Leary. Uh, so, do you know how much practicing was done by Leary uh, in the time uh, since NEC five, Hera? Uh, Leary practiced a lot. Yeah, I mean, me and him <clears throat> started uh, from the qualifiers because we were helping hard, and I helped a couple other guys in the qualifier. So I know mm -hmm. Leary started nice and early. And he put in a lot of work. Like he, he was in solid shape. Uh, I think he had a great performance. And I think part of the motivation for him was like, you know, from the bad, bad result on NEC to Red Bull being announced later today or mm. later this year. Sorry, <laughs> later today. <laughs> uh, I think that's a lot of motivation for him. Like redeem yourself plus look to the future. And I think he should be really happy with the second place. And honestly, I will say, like as someone who played him in the finals, I know the score might have looked one way, but he had Mongols and Chinese left to basically Civ wins that I had to like you know, find a way to, to, to deal with. He just chose not to play them. So, like, it looks like it's 4-0, but had he went for those two, won the Civ wins, it's 3-2 going into the last game. It's just, I don't know why he does this. He just goes for the hardest match first. If he loses, he loses, and that's his mentality. But I, I think it could have easily been a 3-2 into into six game. Mm -hmm. uh, did it feel like the gold old Leary to you, Viper, what we were playing against him? He felt very solid, yeah. The first game, he was full disaster. But that was more strategic, that was not, cup, right? not gameplay. You played cup. really well uh, that game, Viper. I Amazing. felt like I played, I played horrible because the strategy was so your, bad. <laughs> your galley micro was so good. Like, Leary <laughs> choked a bit, but the, your galley micro was insane. Oh, turtle shifts and stuff. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, no, yeah that, that game was okay. Um, no, he felt very solid. Like, the galley micro on Islands as well. Uh, I'm a bit annoyed still by Islands because we had to replay because we played the Hidden Cup 4 map initially oh we had a 45 minute game and we had to replay here come excuses <laughs> well. I, would, I would have lost anyway like i was winning that islands game but i would have lost the set no matter what Lear was playing far better than me no question about it mm -hmm. well the, i didn't know so, none of you guys noticed and none of the admins noticed well, well we, guess... like leary had a pause at like 45 minutes he was like sec and then i was like i was thinking like because i won water in the early game and i was like shouldn't there be like four relics for me to pick up here and I had only picked up one relic, and then I checked, and I was like, "Oh shit, this is Hidden Cup Four. So then I had to alt tab to Robo mm -hmm. and be like, "Robo, and we're playing Hidden Cup Four. Can we continue?" And then he was like, "Unless it's like clearly over, he would prefer a restart." And it's like I had like a one k score lead. I had more relics, but like Why he still had you. Right well, fair play to you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, well, fair no. play to you, my friend. Gotta say, <laughs> mistakes were made. <laughs> play at <until laughs> the end, and then ask if you lose. If you won, that's it. <laughs> No, like I said, I would have lost that set anyway. Lear was feeling very sharp, and he was playing far better. Mm -hmm. How much of a role does the new patch play in Leary's performance? Any well, at all? He, he can use archers again, so that, that has to count for something. Mm -hmm. uh, the yeah, new patch is just... terrible for me personally, uh, like stylistically, because the melee units were worse, and I'm more like cavalry. But it was a far better patch than NAC, so I think Leary had a good time on that. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, I, I I don't even know why people are complaining. Honestly, all the purchases are saying to me. <laughs> uh, only thing is regrouping. Like uh, the, those things I noticed. Like when they go back to the other game to regroup. But now that's fine. The pet finding, I don't see the problem. <laughs> I noticed myself with units, they freeze all the time. Yeah. Is it because of the stand ground? I don't remember what it is. They freeze all the time. I noticed it definitely. Yeah, how do you know. feel about it, Viper? I don't know. I just feel like sometimes when you click your melee units to attack, uh, you right click, or no matter what formation you have, they kind of just like take a breather first mm -hmm. before they decide to engage, and that can be frustrating. Never happened to uh, me because <laughs> you don't look when you cl right click and you look away. <laughs> you go to the market to sell resources. Um, no, I think the, the I, don't, I, I think Lear would have played great whether this patch or last patch. I don't think it mattered too much, but of course, stylistically, it's been known to play archers, so archers became a bit more viable this patch. So maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I don't want to take too much up of your time. So something I still want to hear about how do you guys are? Are you guys OK with the fact that this tournament has got random seating? You don't know the identity of the players. Is it OK for you guys to play a tournament like this? Because you, you feel like the trade off for having more viewers. And this is uh, T90 is the biggest content creator or one of the biggest in the community. This is his tournament. So are you OK? doing this kinds of things or you think at some point we need to ditch this whole random seating and uh, um, hidden identities hero oh that's a big question i have to answer first um i i do see like the cons of it but i have to say with hidden cup i think the pros outweigh the cons and i 
I think I think if there's only one tournament like this a year, it's not a problem. And I think it lasts only a couple of weeks. Like I said, the pros outweigh the cons. There's still a good price pool. You're still playing in front of a, a lot of people. When you look at Yo, his opinion might be different, you know? Um, <laughs> it, obviously, the luck of the draw is a big deal. So I definitely see the cons for sure. And I know like even for like Game Religion, they want their logo present. They don't have it during the tournament, right? So I, I do see like, the problem that like, esports teams and brands might have. But I, I still think the pros outweigh the cons for Hidden Cup. And I'd love to see more of it. I think it's a really fun tournament for the viewers too. Mm -hmm. Doubt? Uh, well, yeah, I agree with Hera. I think the tournament is insane. I like it a lot. Even if it's random seeing one tournament like that is absolutely fine. It's, if we have every tournament exactly the same, well, <laughs> it wouldn't be this exciting. Like, only thing I would like to add up, like Hidden Cup is T90's, well, main event. And as you said, T90 is the biggest content creator. I would like to have another tournament that's let's say is more standard, not hidden cup, like we see the players uh, attached <laughs> to the Titans name. That would be really good. Like he got uh, the Titans League, Titan right? League, yeah. yeah. But that that's not ST tournament for me. <laughs> Sorry, Tinit, but that just doesn't have that ST vibe. Like if I win uh, Titan League, it's not the same as winning hidden cup. It just not. Mm -hmm. Viper, I agree with that. No, I, I like like they say like as long as it's not every tournament and this is just a gimmick for a very specific hidden cup. We have tournaments from we have had tournaments from nearly Memb, all the other smaller tournaments as well. Like as long as every every tournament isn't like this, I'm completely fine with it being like this. Maybe once every year or two. Mm -hmm. Uh, just something I was uh, tracking the the dashboard, and it's pretty interesting because as the games finished and the reveal was about to happen, the numbers went up on YouTube like crazy. <laughs> so at some point, he had over seventy thousand viewers, all channels combined, over seventy thousand viewers. Only I'll say uh, thirty five thousand on his own channel on Twitch. Uh, I would assume those are very good numbers for T90. I, I think he cannot expect to have the same numbers that he had with Hidden Cup 4, which happened at the height of the COVID pandemic. So I suspect he's going to be very, very happy with these numbers. With for finals Cup. like that, he should be happy. Thank you, Hero, again. <laughs> Stop it with that. <laughs> I, I, I think he, he hit similar numbers with YouTube anyway, though. Like if you add them together, so it really was not too bad. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. 70,000 for this one, I believe. And last year was like 75, uh, not last year, last edition was 75,000. Amazing, ridiculous numbers. And what I think is interesting is that he reached that number at the end, not during the games mm -hmm. because the games are very short, but at the end when the revelation came, that's when he hit that number, which I think is interesting. And especially because of YouTube, because YouTube just kept on growing and growing. I think people are sleeping a little bit on YouTube uh, when it comes to streaming so this might might be like a kickstarter for some other streamers uh my friends this was awesome this was fun i had a great time thank you so much for making it at this uh at this late hour of the day hera congratulations once more another term another win for you guys for you for the <laughs> team as well that's awesome thank you and do you guys know when the next s tier is gonna i heard something about may amigo wars 2 is go starting very soon Ooh. oh well oh, tango tango the, the, the tango the one. So Tango, Town yeah. Center Town. <laughs> we have a John Slow Sudden Death Tournament coming up. Yeah. Uh, there may be a Red Bull this year. Uh, you heard about uh, that. Uh, uh, actually, I don't know. Maybe Memb is planning something. I don't know. You, yeah, I, I heard something his, about May. I heard something about May. I don't know uh, from who. I heard How do you have more it. information than me, Ms. Mora? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> you're you know, hearing it from. <laughs> listen, I haven't heard listen, it <laughs> listen, I hate it that I have more information than a lot of the people who are playing this game. I hate it. I don't know why this is the way so it why is. Why do you I ask have... us? You ask us to brag. Like, do you guys have any info? Because <laughs> I do. Like... No, 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 no. I was hoping you had more than me. Because there was going to be something in April as well. <laughs> That's what I'm... If that, ter if that calendar is coming, and Microsoft did promise it's coming in that dev stream thing, it better it be good. It promised a lot of things, though. Yeah, the, yeah, calendar, I mean, the calendar is on the website. It's just like, they don't put anything that isn't yeah, well, published but... yet. Right? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much. And to the folks watching, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those things. Thank you very much, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. That was give a wink. There, yes. Wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> I fail with that as well. <laughs>